for our Stolly Hustle Insurance Group winner tonight. Uh, Crestview, they want balance. They want balance with the passing game and the running game. But there was a young man for Crestview tonight that said, uh, just just keep handing me the leather because I'm going to run with it. I've got an offensive line that's dominating. And that young man is number 32, the sophomore, the 5'11", 165-pound sophomore for Crestview, Braxton Leith. Great game for the Knights. And it just became a situation where Coach Harding could do nothing but give him the ball because he earned the opportunity and he made do on that opportunity. In the red zone, the Mats heating and cooling red zone, they're going to give it to Leith. Leith is going to break through, and he's going to find pay dirt for the Knights. That eight-quarter streak is now over. The Crestview Knights are on the scoreboard. What a nice look on the Layfeld replay, and the Knights are finally on the scoreboard, which gets the home fans excited. Second and goal for the Knights inside the five-yard line. It's Leith. Leith breaks a tackle, and there's no one there. Braxton Leith gets on the Lodix Jewelry scoreboard, and that pushes the Crestview Knights lead to 13 to yeah, zero. Yeah, you just got to tip your cap to the offensive line right there, John. That was big enough that you or I could have trotted <laughs> through that. I'm not going to say run. We might have been able to trot through that one. He's calling the signals. He's going to get the handoff to Leith. Leith around the right side. He's not going to be touched, Dave. And that is going to be a Lodix Jewelry touchdown. Excuse me, a Leland Smith touchdown. Leland Insurance Smith. That's going to take it on the Lodix Jewelry scoreboard, 20 to zero, Crestview Knights. As you said, Leith goes around the right side, untouched to increase the lead, as you said, to 20 to nothing. Get oxygen before they start. <laughs> so we, let, let's let's breathe up here before we get going here. Yeah, and sometimes when you're my age, you just need oxygen re regardless. <laughs> but there goes Braxton Leith. Leith is going to break a big one here. Nice break. He's going to cut it back, and I don't think he's going to be caught. Wow. Braxton Leith gets the Leland and Smith touchdown. Leland Smith insurance touchdown, and that is the jolt that the Knights need to come in right out of halftime, and that might be a great play to start. But, Dave, I do see a flag on the field. Okay. All that excitement, and it looks like it might be coming back. Okay. They're going to they're gonna. Okay, well that's the best flag you would want all along. That's a sideline warning as you can see it on the Layfeld uh, Insurance Industrial and Welding uh, replay. And that is the best flag all night long where it's a sideline warning. Penix inside the red zone. He gives it to Leith and Leith, boy, there he goes. And that is gonna really push this score on the Leland Smith touchdown. It's Braxton Leith. He is racking up the yards and racking up the touchdowns tonight. He's touched the ball twice in the second half, and I believe he has scored on both opportunities. <laughs> that's a good average, isn't it? That That's pretty good. I, I think that uh, that's a pretty good eye by you, too, to, to recognize that. <laughs> I don't think that's Coach Harding's philosophy overall, but I know it's not, but right now it's it's working. Penix gives it to Leith. Leith loses his footing, gets his balance back, but he gets back in the end zone. And what a fantastic play for the Leland Smith touchdown, Braxton Leith. He's been the man. We'd have a Stolly Insurance Hustle Award here at the end of the game, Dave, and Braxton Leith making his case.